Hi, I'm Paul Begley. Uh, they're going to try to plug the hole with mud. That's right, the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they're going to try to, after, you know, it happened on April the 20th, 2010. There was an explosion on the oil rig there in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, BP PLC, the company who uh, leases this huge rig called the Deep Water Horizon. What a name, Deep Water. Oh, yeah, we know that. 5,000 feet below the surface. A mile to the ocean floor lays the pipe that after the explosion, which killed 11 men, by the way, after the explosion and the fire and all that, then it was uh, the began the okay we gotta we gotta stop the oil leak. Clueless have we been. Clueless. And now they're gonna they tried they've tried every way in the world to stop the oil. They they can't. It's gushing out of a two foot pipe, 24 inch pipe. The first attempt was to put a cap over top. Well, it was just there's so much pressure. There's so much pressure uh, a mile below the ocean, you know, to the ocean floor. That didn't work. Then they thought they would take a six-inch pipe and stick it into a... You got this two-foot pipe, this gushing oil. You try to stick a six-inch pipe in it. To me, that's like a straw in a garden hose. I mean, is that really going to do anything? So, of course, that's not going to work. Now they're going to try to do what's called a top kill, and that's, and that's to pour mud in the hole. Just pour mud, just pour mud, just pour mud and kill it. Do you really think you can pour enough mud a mile on the bottom of the ocean to plug a 24 inch pipe that's spewing out oil? Even the, the CEO of BP says he gives it a 60 to 70 percent chance. The President of the United States has no guarantees. You know, I'm going to step out and tell you right now, it's not going to work. Trying to plug a hole with mud? I'm Paul Begley. It's not going to work.